Hey, this is Russell with JSR Outdoors. This is our 2013 deer season footage. It was our best year yet. A lot of great harvests, tons of great encounters. Uh, we're moving in the right direction. We have lots of positive things coming up, but it was a great season and hopefully you enjoy all our footage. It's October 18th, Friday. I was able to go in a little, to work a little late this morning. And it's a good thing we had a massive front move in poured down rain for the past two days and the temperature dropped about 25 degrees so hopefully we'll get some good footage and some uh, even better some good back straps on the ground I just smoked him. I just smoked him. I just smoked him. Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm freaking, I'm freaking shaking. I can't stop shaking. I think the camera's running right now. The camera's freaking running. I smoked the biggest deer of my life. Oh. We got a good shot on this deer. Um, we're about to start looking for where, if, if the arrow passed through, looking for blood trails. We're, we're I, man, I, I think this is the biggest deer I've ever shot in my entire life. Oh my goodness, look, oh my, oh, this is it right here, boys, look at this. This is it, this is it, boys and girls, here we go. We gotta keep finding this. We still haven't found my arrow, though. Man, I thought it passed through. My arrow. Ooh. There it is, the rage. The rage making it rain, boys and girls. Woo! Look at him, look at him. This is my biggest bow kill, my biggest bow kill of my life. right here on these trees. Let me get all this stuff out from underneath them. My Matthews bow did it for me. We've had a lot of practice. We've had a lot of shots, a lot of targets. Um, and unfortunately last season I had a miss. But uh, this bow just really, really shot well today, shot true. And look at the size of this deer. Look at this guy. Look at this mass and this G split G2. I'm here with my brother, he's filming. Uh, me and Hunter got out here this morning. There was a front that came in and uh, it rained for two days and the temperature dropped about 20 degrees. And so we said we had to get out here and we got out here this morning and uh, this sucker came running in. We've seen no rutting activity, but we came when the weather was right, the wind was right, and we sat in the right location. So uh, we here at JSR are excited to be on the ground in Tennessee. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Man, what a great hunt it was. This doe came charging in. I saw the buck charging in as well. So I just flipped on the camera, put the camera where I thought he would be, where I was gonna stop him. I turned it on, drew back and shot. And unfortunately, the camera wasn't in the exact right spot, but it was a great buck and a great day for JSR. Saturday, November 2nd. We're in my favorite stand. My favorite stand, maybe not his. Lots of deer movement here the last weeks. Deer camera looks real good. We got in without spooking anything this morning. It all looks good. We just need a deer on the ground.
Did it on film three years. I can't believe it. Again. Three years we've been trying for that. I think it's now we've seen it for 30 yards. Go get that puppy. Nice eight pointer. We had him on film. It's not the biggest one we've ever taken out here. But it's three years of trying to get a nice buck on film, so really happy we got it. It's been a long haul, but it's been fun. Uh, but it's a nice buck. It'll work out just fine. Some good food and some good horns. Great hunt. Glad to do it with Russ. Good afternoon from Tennessee. This is Will Tenpenny and my brother-in-law Blake. We are uh, going out to do a little afternoon hunt. As you can see, I was involved in a car accident, so I'm not going to be behind the bow this evening, but uh, we're going to let Blake get behind the bow. We're driving up to our favorite spot uh, in Springfield, Tennessee, and hopefully we're going to help Blake get his first first deer and hopefully his first buck ever caught on camera so he's never killed a deer so we're really excited to get out here and do a little hunting and uh, we're gonna hunt over a cornfield this evening and see if we can have some bucks and does come all out in it we're gonna shoot them right right before light goes down so we'll catch back in with you later we've got our doe decoy out Hopefully she's going to see some action tonight. So this hunt here is with my brother-in-law. It's one of his first times to ever go hunting and what an exciting hunt it was. This great nine point just stepped out. Unfortunately, he didn't come to us in our decoy. There were some live does out there and he went to them, but it was so exciting to see the traditions being passed on. He was shaking, he was so excited. Just what a great hunt it was all around. All right, Saturday, November 9th. Um, seems we're, like rut's kicking in here, hopefully. A little windy, cold though. We're down at our uh, South Central Ohio property, uh, looking for a great day in the woods. That's the bottom line. We saw all kinds of big monsters last night driving, so we're hoping that that means something's picking up. They're chasing anything. So we're kind of diving down into a bottom a little bit, um, hopefully out of the wind, and hopefully it's a great day. So we'll pick it up on the stand. That's right.
picture. I think so. I'm not sure. about 850. We had one come in and it milled around about 80 yards away for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Kept calling and calling and calling. Finally it turned, came, and I thought it was about a 25 to 30 yard. It ended up being probably more like 20 to 25. So I shot high, shot right over it, but that was awesome. <laughs> we'll try again. So there wasn't a lot of blood at the beginning and we were both a little nervous, but we knew she was so small we didn't know if we'd be able to see her, but I just got a, a little bit of a tail up there, so we're going to go up there and grab her. <laughs> so it's a nice young doe, like we thought, but I've let so many does over the last two years just come in and leave, you know, just, I needed to get on the board, let's put it that way. So. She was in eating today. Scentlock did the trick because she was down there for 20 minutes. You know, finally she, you know, got a little antsy and I thought, well, it's now or never. And I thought, you know, we should just go ahead and put the, the smack down on her. So we did. Great harvest, good little deer, nice and tender. <laughs> we'll get some good steaks and uh, back straps out of her. So can't complain. Great day in the woods, November 16th. Awesome. Well, it's about 5.30 in the morning and we're just waking up here in Kentucky. Um, Dad and I made it down here to Whitetail Crossing, Kentucky, um, an outfitter that we're going with this weekend for muzzleloader season, and we're pretty excited. So we uh, we met Brian last night and his fiance Megan and, and uh, one of the guides, Kevin, and, and we talked about some deer and our spot and um, we got to see some of the farm and it's it's looking really good, so we're excited.
as well get one down while we're here and go for a buck this afternoon and into this evening. So I think we made a good shot. Um, we uh, saw her run, I think we heard her crash. So, you know, we'll see. But glad we got one down. And now what we got left is that big buck. So we're excited. It's good morning. Tuesday morning, last day of the hunt, hanging out here at Whitetail Crossing. It's been a fun trip and we got a nice doe down, so that's what counts. Buck tonight, right? Buck tonight. <laughs> Gotta do my share if I'm gonna shoot the doe, that's for a good buck today. It's Tuesday, January 7th, and this is realistically one of the last days I'll be getting out. Um, drop my hat. Um, headed over to the same spot we started last night at, Jones Corner. I uh, got some food out, that's super important this late in the year. Some beans, even some corn uh, spread out by some of the trees we've been planting. And uh, just hoping, I mean, this is a wing and a prayer, but. shots. Freezing cold. Dad's about to come pick me up on the four-wheeler. So last, probably last one of the season. Great night in the woods. We are just off the field, so I'm probably going to start getting down, but it's been a great season. JSR on the door system. It's a big things to come. 